President Biden announced an additional $800 million in military assistance for Ukraine on Thursday, with the initial portion arriving over the weekend. The package, which represents a sharp increase in artillery shipments, includes weapons that meet Ukraine's specific needs on the battlefield, which is shifting toward the Donbas region in the east. The latest package includes 72 plus 155mm howitzers and the tactical vehicles to tow them, along with 144,000 artillery rounds. That is a significant increase over the 18 howitzers in another shipment also announced in April, and it is enough to equip five battalions, Pentagon spokesman John Kirby said. By some expert estimates, the 144,000 rounds could last as long as four weeks. The howitzers are really equipment designed to help Ukrainians hold the line against the forthcoming Russian assaults, said Samir Puri, a Singapore-based military analyst with the International Institute for Strategic Studies. Also in the package are over 120 Phoenix Coast tactical unmanned aerial systems, drones that the U.S. Air Force developed in response, specifically, to Ukrainian requirements, according to Kirby. Later in the day, he said the drones had actually been developed for a set of requirements that very closely match the Ukrainians' needs for operations in Donbas. Its principal focus is attack, he said. The Phoenix Ghosts, designed by EVEX Aerospace, are similar to switchblade drones, small and precise weapons packed with explosives that are able to strike targets in kamikaze fashion. The Phoenix Ghost system will require minimal training for experienced drone operators, Kirby said. Washington announced in March it would send 100 switchblades to Kyiv. Ukraine has kept the Kremlin from taking a major prize, Kyiv, the capital, by adopting guerrilla tactics in the forests of the country's north and west. But the open and flat lands of the east are far better suited for Russia's ability to muster large formations of tanks and armored vehicles. Warmer weather in the coming weeks will also provide the Kremlin's armored formations with greater freedom of movement.